to my channel Shaurya Sanatya. If you guys remember, I recently posted a picture on Instagram and I asked you if you guys have any questions to ask me. So this is going to be a Q&A video. I promise to answer most of your questions. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into the video. So the first question which is uh, asked by Chehek, she is asking me how do you manage your whole day because you do a lot of shoots and other things too. So now, uh, so the first thing that I do when I have to manage my day is to plan out my day. So whatever it is, even if I have to buy groceries or if I have to do some housework or if I have to like, you know, uh, unbox something which has some PR kit which has come, anything and everything has been jotted down in my planner so that it doesn't slip out of my mind because there are 10 things to do and I tend to forget a lot. So the best way that I feel is to plan your day is to sit down a day prior and think of all the things that you have to do the next day and just jot that down and if it's a mini diary it's the best because if you're heading out you can just put it in your bag and carry it around. So yeah I think that's the best way that you can plan your day. The next question is from Ritu. Now she is asking me the one thing that I love and hate about Amit. Uh, the one thing that I really really love about him is the fact that he's so patient and understanding. He will sit and listen to everything that I love. About. So that's what I love about him. Um, hate, I hate is a very strong word, so I won't use hate. But the one thing that I that irritates me sometimes is that he's <laughs> he never plans something at that very moment. So if I say, listen, we have to do this, yeah, we'll see. So that we'll see is a little irritating and annoying. So yeah, I think that is what I don't really appreciate. Amit, yeah. <laughs> so the next question is from Nisha. She's asking, how do you manage your blogger life and your married life? Uh, so this happens in all the fields actually that you need to have a differentiation between your personal life and your um, work life. So uh, the first thing that I do is I make sure that I keep my Sundays free because that is like a family time Amit would be free that day and we can spend some time together or if I have my in-laws or my parents here so I make sure that Sundays are free. Making that conscious effort from my end and from his end as well. Uh, yeah, that's how I plan my work life and I make sure that I do spend some family time as well because that is really important. So there's this one question that a lot of you guys have asked me and all of you want to know how I edit my pictures and videos. Now I have a team of my own who edit my pictures and my videos but I know this is a very relevant question for all of you guys because they're budding bloggers, photographers who actually want to know what and how and the fundamentals of learning and editing pictures and videos. Now I'm going to share with you this uh, one platform where, which is called Skillshare which is a really huge and also a very affordable platform for all of these budding creators to learn uh, photography, the fundamentals of photography, how to take pictures on the phone or even how to edit your videos and your pictures. So it's a perfect online learning community for creators and they have more than 25,000 classes in design, photography and a lot more. So it's a perfect way to fuel your creativity and also your career. Also Skillshare is super affordable. Uh, your monthly membership costs you less than $10 which I think is great and a good news for all of you guys is that first 500 of you all can use the link in my description box and avail a two months of free trial at Skillshare. So here's a chance for you to go and explore all the activities and all the classes and communities that are out there and you guys can just start exploring and learning new things. So the next question is from the Instagram handle called Blue Eye Girl and she's asking how can we maintain our skin? Now the first thing which is very important is to drink at least 2-3 to three liters of water daily and this step is extremely important in getting a glowing and a healthy skin because water actually helps flush out all of the toxins from your body giving a glow from within and the next most important thing is to moisturize so if you follow these two things i'm pretty sure that you'll have a glowing and healthy skin the next question is from an instagram handle called his love and the question is are you working anywhere else apart from youtube if so what kind of job it is now i'm only involved in four things one is my youtube my instagram my label and now this new brand uh, it's a new skin and hair care brand called Aryo. 
And yeah, these are the only four things that I'm currently involved with. If there's anything else in future, I'll surely let you know. Next question is from Kashmir and is asking, uh, which has been the toughest decision you've ever taken in your life, and how do you get over any tough phase in life? Um, so the toughest decision for me was to actually put it across to my father that I do not want to join Air Force. It was tough because um, somewhere I was not following his dream and because he was in the Air Force, he really, really, really wanted to see me in the uniform. So I think that was a very tough decision for me. But I'm glad that I took that decision because I had other things planned for myself and I see my dad so happy now just to see where I am today. So yeah, I think that was worth the decision. And the next question is that how do you get over any tough phase in your life? Um, the key to just get over any tough phase in your life is to stay positive and don't ever demotivate yourself. Always keep working towards what you want to do even if things are not working out and things are falling apart. Time will heal everything. So the key part is to just stay positive and never stop believing in yourself. Now a lot of you guys have been asking me when I'll do my room, closet and house tour. I know it's been really late now but the thing is that I have to move to a different place which is why I did not do a room tour now. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to shift to a different place, rearrange the place and do it up and then give you a room tour and a studio tour as well. So please be patient with me but uh, don't lose hope I will definitely do a room tour for all of you guys but for now I am going to do a video uh, as to how I organize my makeup so that video is coming your way really soon stay tuned for that. Anaya is asking what is the definition of happiness according to you? Now this is clearly the definition of happiness according to me if you guys haven't met Sam say hi Sammy Say hi! This is Sam. If you guys haven't met him and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do. You'll see a lot of Sam on my Instagram now. Uh, and all I want to say is that happiness is just drawn from the little things in life. Be it work, family, anything. But that sums up happiness for me. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Shorat Sinatya. And I'm going to see you super soon guys. Bye. Bye. Say bye, son. Come on.